Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 16th through the 22nd of October, 2022. I hope you guys had a great week. I'm gonna take a quick second just to remind you that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. Also keep in mind that the energies can reverse or flip flop. I am giving away another free personal tarot reading at the end of October and if you're interested in that, all you need to do is to subscribe to the channel, be sure to hit the like button, and also leave a comment, and I will put you into the drawing. All right, so let's get started, Scorpio. Spirit, can I have the energy of Scorpio? Wow, okay. All right, so Scorpio, look at that. You are starting out with the Empress. You have the Page of Cups, and the card that tried to fly across the room was a Seven of Swords in the reverse. Wow, okay. All right, so Scorpio, I am seeing that you are really sitting in this energy of receiving. You're pretty much abundant on your own um, or with someone. It doesn't seem to matter to you. You just have this air of opulence, actually. Um, I feel like you are very much in your own power right now and that you, you, the Empress is like one of the, the highest cards that you can get. So I just feel like you're kind of at large and in charge right now. Now there is this energy here with the Page of Cups. Now this is a, um, it could be an apology. It could be a communication but it's small. It's something that's very small. Um, it could even be like a, you know, extension or a beginning of love. But we see with the Seven of Swords that there may be something that is attached to this that you feel is deceptive. Or it could be somebody even, because this isn't always deception. It could be somebody that has avoided you for a time as well. We're going to clarify this because I do feel that these two are definitely attached. That being said, Scorpio, you almost have this air of seeing, but not really allowing yourself to be involved. It's almost like I see what you're do you did there. You know, it's not like you're bothered by whatever this is. It's, it's almost like you're just observing it. You have a very high self-esteem is what this is telling me. You know who you are. So whatever, if this is some form of, you know, fuckery or whatever, you're kind of unbothered by it. Um, if this is somebody that has avoided you that is now coming in, you're just kind of observing them. You're kind of checking them out to see, well, you know, is this, is this something that's going to get my attention or not? Let's see who might be in your energy. Either way, you are very unbothered. Show me who is in Scorpio's energy. It's almost like you just don't have time to be bothered. You're, you're observing, you're receiving, but you're not really bothered. I mean, why would you be? You're showing up as the Empress. All right, so the person in your energy has the Two of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Nine of Wands. And they are far from unbothered, okay? So this, the energy of this person is somebody who is stuck. They, they're not moving forward um, in their life. They're very stuck. They want to, though. They want to move in a new direction. They want to, some of them physically want to move or to travel, and it's in your direction. Now, they're, for some reason, though, they are feeling stuck. They may have been moving forward very slowly, and now they're just not moving at all, but they feel wounded. They feel, um, they feel hurt for some reason, and they also feel that there's a lot of problems, but they want to work through the problems. They want to, to work through all the problems, put them in the past, but they seem to be unable to do that. They seem stuck in this energy. 
So, but they def definitely want to. So let's see what the energy between the two of you is. Show me the energy between the two, please. Okay, so we have the moon in reverse. Sign of Cancer and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, so there is something that you have found out about this person. Because I'm seeing it in two different places here, Scorpio. You've had an epiphany or something has been revealed and I believe it's something, they did something deceptive. Page of Swords in the reverse is, it's like, it's a lie. It's, it can be a, a direct lie or it can be a lie of omission. So whatever it is has been discovered. It's been found out. So there has been something here. And you're expecting an apology for this. Because this is not you giving an apology. You're receiving. You're waiting for this apology from this person because you know what they have done. Let's uh, let's see what's directly affecting the connection. Show me what's directly affecting this connection. The Knight of Cups. So it's that offer. It's an offer. And the offer is increasing as time goes forward. Let's see your outcome because this is an offer of love. This person may not have been, they may have come in, they may have offered a relationship or offered, you know, something to you, but I feel like they weren't able to follow through or they didn't follow through. There was some deception involved here. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is the devoted king or queen. Um, this is a wife, can be a mother or the mother of, you know, the, someone's children. In the reverse, this is that person exiting the situation. So, I feel like and it's also, it, it also indicates a sense of loss. So there is at the end of the week, there, there's a sense of loss. There could be, there could be some, this person may have had a third party for some of you and they didn't tell you about it. You would have discovered it. You would have discovered that there's somebody else involved. Um, I feel like somebody may be exiting the the picture if there's a third party. And if there's not a third party, there's a sense of loss. But there's definitely something here that was, I don't know, there was a deception and it's a, it's a lie. Either this person directly lied or they lied by omission. They, they kept something quiet that they should have revealed. And now they're stuck. They're stuck in this energy of there being problems in this connection, and they can't seem to figure out how to get through it. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. So there's a marriage here that is affecting this connection, a marriage or a relationship, a committed relationship that's affecting this connection. Okay, so let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Empress here for Scorpio? All right, so we have the World and we have the Three of Cups. So you're closing out a cycle here, Scorpio. <clears throat> you're closing a cycle so that you can begin a new cycle. Um, if it's a cycle, if, if there's been a third party, because we have, a, you know, the three again, if there's been a third party, I, I feel like you're, you don't want that. You're closing that out. I mean, you're an empress. You're not going to accept a third party energy. So 
you would be receptive. I feel like at least some of you, a lot of you, would be receptive to a reconciliation, but not without this person closing out whatever deception is involved, whether it's third party or it's something else. You are not having this deceptive energy, and why should you? Um, you are also moving towards your own happiness. I see some of you, some of you when this connection ended, um, you, you closed something out here, and I see you going out with friends, maybe even going out and dating. What is the Page of Cups here for Scorpio? The High Priestess. The Knight of Pentacles reverse. So we know it's this person. And the Empress in reverse. So obvious. Yeah, there was... There was something about a secret here. The high priestess is the keeper of secrets. But that being said, it also speaks to intuition. So this person was keeping a secret. You intuitively felt that. And showing the high uh, or the empress in reverse, this was not something that puts you in a good energy. It, it it was disrespectful. This person did not treat you like the empress. This person disrespected you. And that's why they're stuck in this energy now. They owe you an apology. And I feel like you're waiting for that apology. There was something to do with love here. And there was deception behind it. And this person may have even had you for a minute here... Scorpio, they had you questioning yourself, you know, they had you wondering, you know, if, if you were, <laughs> if your thinking was just off here, some of you, you know, question yourself for a second, but you're not questioning yourself now. This person disrespected you. So energies that I see, um, and don't get too tied up in that because we literally have them all in our chart. But I do see Scorpio, Libra, Taurus is here as well. Um, let's see why the Seven of Swords is in reverse. They didn't treat you with the respect that you are due. And if this is a spiritual connection, they treated you as anything other than the Empress. But your intuition told you that something was off here. You could feel it. All right, so we have the seven of coins and the tower. You invested in something, found out that it was deceptive, and it caused a tower moment. Yeah, this person had you doubting yourself for a minute, but I don't think you are anymore. You're, the gig is up. All right, so let's look at their energy. Why is the two of wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? <laughs> All right. So we have the Ace of Swords reversed. And we have the Ten of Cups. Because they're a liar. I mean, like I'm expecting to see somebody, you know, pull a card with somebody's pants on fire. This person's lying. They're, they're not telling you the truth. They may have pulled their energy away. This person may have a whole family. And if it wasn't, you know, if it wasn't that, they, they lied to you about their intentions in this connection. But I feel like they realize now that they, <laughs> that they missed out on a lot of happiness here that you would be the happiness in, in this connection, with th that the two of you could be happy. They lack clarity at the time. But it's because it, it, it looks like they were running a game. Even if they didn't mean to, like, you know, it could have been for some of you guys that you, you met and this person was just so taken with you that 
They just did stupid stuff, but there's no excuse. There, there's definitely an untruth here. In addition to that, I feel like this person is has pulled back. I don't see communication with them right now. Let's see why the Knight of Pentacles is here. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, reversed. This person may have consulted an attorney if they're in a marriage. They may be trying to, because the King of Swords can sometimes be a, a legal representative, um, somebody in the legal field. So they may be trying to consult an attorney with regard to how to end something. They feel stuck, unable to move forward, even though they want to. They're trying to be very rational about an ending. They're definitely feeling the loss of this connection. And I do feel that, I do feel they feel that, um, they know that something here has to end if they're going to be able to move forward. But right now, they're just stuck. Um, why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Ten of Coins reversed and the Emperor. Yeah, this is a spiritual connection. For some of you, it's a twin flame connection. Because we've got the Four of Wands. We've got the Emperor. We've got the Empress. Um, wouldn't surprise me if Temperance came out. It's another very strong twin flame card for me. So, this person knows that they have to take charge of the situation. They may have been in denial of what this connection was. If they were, they're not anymore. They know that something has to end and it will likely cost them financially. They're concerned about that. This person is very concerned about the financial loss that is going to be involved with that. So this is someone that there's a karmic connection of some kind. And they have to take charge. They have to end something that is, they've been in for quite some time. Whether they're married, living with that person, or you know, involved in some other way. And this is a problem for them. This They're having a, a difficult time doing that. So they're dragging their feet. Yeah, they're not moving forward to create this ending. But they know they have to be the one to take control of it and create the ending. And a lot of it has to do with financial, financial um, loss. They don't want to lose the money. Let's look at the connection itself. Show me the connection, Spirit. Show me the connection. We have the sign of Aries here. We have Virgo. Okay, so we have the three of wands reversed. We have the six of swords. We have the Five of Wands, and we have the Hermit in Reverse. So both of you are tired of waiting to move things forward. There's been chaos in this connection, and you both want to move it forward. Both of you are tired of the waiting, and in addition to that, there's a little bit of pessimism, too. You're both doubting the connection at times. So there's, so at times you want to move forward together. At times you're like, no, this isn't, this isn't right for me. And so, and that's on both sides. For you, it's because this person hasn't honored this connection. And they've, they've, for some, there's a karmic involved. Now keep in mind it may not even be another person. Scorpio, this person could have a business that they're putting in front of you or family or could be a baby mama or even their, their mother or their family.
but there's something that is intervene or interfering in this connection. And it it would constitute a third party. It's not always another person that's a third party. You've had a realization about this and you I feel like you ended this connection. And it's not that you want to end the connection. You want to end this cycle where there's something that's interfering. They have pulled away, but they're going to be, they're going to want to talk. They're going to, they're going to come forward and talk. They've been doing some soul searching. They realize that they have not been telling the truth about some things. They realize that they've not provided clarity. And I think that they are also realizing that you, in this connection, is where they're going to find their, their full happiness. So they want to move forward. They want to move towards you. And they're going to come forward and tell you that. This will be after a period of not talking, though. You, you might not receive them in the... <laughs> you might not be as happy about it. I feel like you'll be happy about it, but you're not going to be, like, easy to to discuss this with and it's because there has been something that's been interfering and you've been working towards your own happiness here um let's see why the knight of cups is here all right so we have the ten of swords reverse and the two of cups this person's coming forward. They're going to offer you, you know, a relationship. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this person's going to offer you a relationship, Scorpio. <coughs> Whatever was denied in the past, it was page energy. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I really feel like I can't even talk. <clears throat> That's so weird. Okay. <clears throat> so this person offered you <clears throat> page energy in the past. <clears throat> I have literally never had that happen to me before. <clears throat> I hear about <clears throat> readers all the time that say their throat closed down. And I've literally never had that happen so strongly. <clears throat> so please excuse me, but that was terrible. It's like this person cannot, they can't bring themselves to, to open up. This is why they've kept silent. They are going to talk to you. <clears throat> they're moving in your direction, or they want to, but it's going to be very, very slow. You will hear from them. They see you as their person. They know they have to end something here. <clears throat> Whatever they offered you was too small. It was, it was beneath the offer that an empress would receive. And they do owe you an apology. You're aware of it. They kept you in the dark. They kept secrets. And I feel like you ended that cycle. Because you had the strength to end that cycle, <clears throat> it brought about a painful ending. It was the tower moment. And this person's going to come back in. It's going to bring healing for you. 
because you've been dealing with whatever this is that has been competing. They have love for you and they sincerely see you as their happiness. And they're upping that offer. They've realized that they don't want to live life without you. Let's see why the Queen of Pentacles is here. I feel like they're ending a, a connection, a karmic connection. <clears throat> I have never had my throat close up like that. That is, that was awful. <laughs> and not that I'm sympathizing with this person, but if, that's how they're feeling like every time they want to talk to you, they just feel like they're just almost shutting down. Then, I mean, that's a, that's a rough feeling, honestly. All right. So we have the star in reverse. We have the eight of cups and we have the fool. Yeah. Why am I not surprised by that? Okay, so the star in reverse. <clears throat> this person, um, I do feel like they're ending something with a karmic. There is a connection, a marriage, the underlying energy. It's a marriage or a long-term connection. This person is ending that. They, they know that that's not where their hopes and dreams lie. They don't know if you're going to take them back. They, there's a sense of, a little bit of a sense of hopelessness here, but they want to have a new beginning with you. This is going to cost them financially. They're going to lose a lot and they are aware of that, but they're going to take charge. They're going to, they want to overcome the problems that's keeping the two of you apart. They know they have to end something that's been long-term and they know it's going to cost them. And they're willing to take that, that loss in order to have this new beginning. But they don't know if there's still hope in this connection. <clears throat> On your side, you invested in this and it led to a tower moment because of all the fuckery that went on here. After this tower moment or during the tower moment, you walked away because you gave up hope. You gave up hope. Well, they're coming back. They've, they're they ending a karmic connection and they are coming back. They don't know what you're going to do. Let's pull one more card just to see on each side. Because I'm curious. I just feel like you're going to have a choice here. Um, if you're going to take this person back or you're not. But you, you pulled back because you weren't having it. You were not going to be placed in this third-party energy. Yeah, you're moving forward. But the thing is, Scorpio, it's not telling me <laughs> which way you're moving forward. So I feel like it's just because, you know, sometimes spirit doesn't reveal things. It's, it can be very ambiguous. And I could literally read this as two ways. I could read it that you're moving forward and this person knows this is a missed opportunity. Or I could read it that the two of you are moving forward together. And this person is realizing that this is a, you know, ordained or a, a spiritual connection. When that happens, it's it's literally because the spirit doesn't want that known. Not everything is revealed to a reader or a psychic, you know. Not if it's not meant to be. And if you're not meant to have that information, it there's a reason for that. And that reason would be because we all have free will. And I think that your free will is being put on the table here. It's going to be your decision, Scorpio. All right. So, bottom of the deck is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Now, center of the reading, it's in the upright. So, this is the this is the offer of love that you've been waiting for. So, it's was held up. This has been held up because of the Four of Wands. So, if we take this... And we reverse them both. There's an ending. 
in order for this offer to come through. But it's literally going to be your choice. So, all right. Let's see if there's any messages here, Scorpio, that might want to come out. It looks like it's right at the point where you have given up on this connection. And this person, you know, doesn't want to live without you. They realize that they don't want to be without you. All right, one card came out, and it says separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and unsure of the future. <laughs> yeah, because the future is not known. The future is just not known in this in this connection. It's, it's going to be your choice. All right, I was gifted this Halloween Oracle, and so I've been pulling it for each sign. Let's see what you get. Okay, you have the witch. It says the earthly weaver of the worlds. Interesting. The earthly weaver of the world. I'm going to read that for you. <clears throat> I apologize about that earlier. I have never literally had that happen. I mean, I've had like a little bit, but not that was strong. So I'm going to tell you, your person, they are having a difficult time communicating. So just know that. All right, Scorpio. Um, it says, Witches have had a bad PR day for a couple of millennia now. Originally, the healers or cunning women of the village, the very word witch, comes from the Celtic word weiss, meaning weaver or wise. When the new religion of Christianity spread through the land, the custodians of old pagan ways, in part witches, were labeled as evil. And, as we know from history, they were persecuted. They were driven underground or under the night sky into the shadows of misunderstanding and darkness. However, for the purposes of Halloween, let's look at witches as the weavers of magic and change. Through spells and rituals and even through herbal recipes, yes, often brewed in a cauldron, they weave the powers of this world and the next in synergy to solve problems and to heal. Holding the witch card means that you can weave your own change throughout your life and that magic indeed is afoot. You must understand that you have power and that it is real. It may also indicate that others may be threatened by your developing personal power and that they may not appreciate or like the changes in you as you grow. Be prepared for this and do not be discouraged. New friends and better opportunities will be attracted instead. So basically what I'm hearing from that, again, I'm seeing that you have a choice here. Um, and you're weaving this, your, your decision is going to be very important. This person, I feel, has made a decision. But beyond that, be careful of who you're around because it seems as if there might be some people, Scorpio, that is in your energy that may have some jealousies towards you. Um, so be careful about that. They may be jealous of your ability to manifest or your ability to bring into your life the things that you want. Not everybody that you confide in is your friend, so be careful who you're confiding in. Okay, so I hope this has been helpful. I apologize for that right in the middle of your reading. Um, but if you are interested in the free tarot reading, be sure to subscribe. Um, also, um, like, give this a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Until I see you in the weekly reading, namaste.